Hello guys, I hope you are doing well today. I'm here again with another beautiful update which is how to move to Portugal. Well, I'm sure a lot of us know Portugal is one of the beautiful countries in Europe uh, with a very stable economy and uh, which is also a well advanced country. In fact, um, the standard of living is good in Portugal that life expectancy for men and women exceeds 80%. So you can imagine, it shows you how good the healthcare sector is, how less stressful the country is, how happy the people are, and a whole lot of other factors. Well, today, this video is about how you can legally migrate to Portugal. Now, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to do this without any need for proof of fund, no age limit is required, no English test is required, you may not also have a job, I mean, um, have an education, university education. So today I'm going to be talking about migration for both educated persons and non-educated persons. In as much as you have a skill, then you're good to go. Now, if you do migrate to Portugal, after five years of legally staying in Portugal, you will be entitled to a permanent residency. And also, subsequently, you will be entitled to citizenship in as much as you meet the requirements. Be aware that Portugal is a rich cultural heritage and it, it has a lot of diverse landscape and, you know, the people have one welcoming culture. Well, like I said before, life expectancy in Portugal exceeds 80 for both men and women. So which means women can even, you know, say roughly 90 to 100. Now, Portugal is a high income country and the economic size of Portugal is about $260 billion. I mean, for a country of about 10.5 million population, the economic size is about $260 billion. That shows you how well positioned, how rich the country is. So if you ask me if Portugal is a nice place, I will tell you yes and yes. Now again, Portugal is part of the European Union, of course part of the United Nations, you know, and if you are legally staying in Portugal, you will be able to travel across Europe, including countries like Germany, France, you know, um, Switzerland, um, Belgium, Denmark, I mean the list goes on, you can name them yourself. Now the competition of moving to Portugal is way much less compared to countries like UK, Ireland, Germany, Netherlands, you know, competition is less. So chances are if you do your things very well, do it neatly and do it rightly, chances are you would be able to move to Portugal within the next three to six months. Again, cost of visa application in Portugal is way too cheap. It's just at 245 euros compared to UK, which is around the boundaries of 2,000 pounds. Well, these are the beautiful things we are going to be sharing today. But then, I want to invite you, if you are listening to my video, especially if you are listening for the first time, this is my channel is Finance Oracle and my name is Martin and all I'm doing is to bring you good news on how you can migrate to countries where you could live a better life. So please do not forget to share, do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to ring the bell. I want you to be among the first persons who will always see my video whenever they drop by. Remember that in this channel we want you to do achieve your migration plan without spending money on immigration lawyers, on agents, and on fake people. We want you to get this free of cost. 
So it will be in your own interest to subscribe and to share. Of course, you also need to patronize us. How you can patronize Finance Oracle is by sharing this in all social media handles where you belong and on your Facebook page and invite people to come listen to what we are sharing to you. Well, I know you will do this and this will really mean a lot to me. Well, there are many two parts of two pathways to Portugal. I mean, I can also talk about the third one, but there are mainly two pathways to Portugal. Number one requires a job offer, and number two, which most people want to hear, does not require a job offer. Well, for a job offer, you will need to search for a job online. Don't ask for an agent, I mean, I mean an agent that will take money from you. Unless you have a lot of money to spend, but chances are that those agents will not give you a result, except few that are tested and trusted. Now you have to go online to search for a job, and I'm going to be dropping, dropping links of well co or confirmed job agents and um, search in job search engines that have yielded results in job search in Portugal across years. I'm going to be dropping this in the comment section and all you need to do is to go to the comment section and click on them and start your job search. Now, once you found a job in Portugal, the next thing you're going to do is, well, your employer will take your job offer letter to Portuguese authority to work. And they will, they will register it to the Portuguese authority to work, then they will now send you the job offer. It is with that job offer that you will go to the embassy of Portugal, the Portuguese embassy in your home country, to initiate your application process. So if you have to do this, there are three major documents you're going to go with. Of course, the employment letter is there, then three other documents. One of them is you must have a passport, an international passport, in your home country, which is valid for at least six months. And not just valid for six months, but also have at least two empty slips where your visa can be stamped. You also need to have fitness to work which means you must be someone who is in good health. If you are not in good health, they will not let you in because they are going to confirm if you are in good health. And number three is that you would have police clearance showing that you are not a wanted person in your country and you have not committed any crime which does not require you to travel to Portugal because they want to maintain peace and harmony. Now, once you have these three things, then you can walk up to your embassy, to Portugal's embassy in your country and apply for your visa. Now, they are going to grant you a three months visa. And this three months visa will allow you entrance into Portugal. And once you've gotten into Portugal, then you will convert it to a work permit Depending on your contract, if it is one year or two years, you're going to convert it to a one or two years work permit, which is also renewable as far as you continue to work in Portugal. And when you have successfully lived in Portugal for five years without committing crimes, when you have legally lived without any problem, then you would be able to apply for a permanent residency and subsequently for a citizenship. This is the beauty of the voting and this can be done within five to ten years. Of course, five years you're going to get your um, permanent residency and in the next two years you can apply for your citizenship. Now, having said this, if I were you, the first thing I would hit is Google and start searching for jobs in the internet and start applying for jobs. Of course, visit the comment section and you're going to see the links which I will drop and you click on them. But before you click on these links, 
there is something very crucial you need to do, and that is to get your CV well done. If you don't get your CV well done, then your presentation will be poor, and chances are that people will flip over your application and they will suffer the ones that is appealing to them. So you have to make your CV appealing to them. And uh, like me personally, I always make use of um, first penman writer at gmail.com. I, I go to first penman writer because they offer me what I want. They're not going to just make a CV for me. They'll find out if I want CV for different regions and they'll give me an offer, a very competitive offer, and they'll make a CV for Middle East, for Europe, for the US, for Australia, depending on where I've requested, and I can have about three samples. And their CV are very concise and very appealing, and persuasively appealing, let me use that word. So, if you're interested in packaging your CV, consider first penman writer, I'm going to drop their email also in the comment section, but just in case you miss it, it is firstpenmanwriter at gmail.com and that is well recommended. Well, um, hit the list below and start applying once you've done this. Let me also tell you the good news, there are huge demand of job, of manpower in Portugal, starting from the IT industry, from the healthcare, English jobs uh, like English teachers, and of course engineering and technology. So chances are that if you start applying today, then within the next one month or maximum two months, you will be noticed and you will likely get a job offer or you will get some invitation to interviews. So do not sit down and say, no, this is difficult. It is pretty much easier. It is what many people have done. And if you also need one-on-one -on -one consultancy, you can also email us and we will support you through this process. Be aware that I'm not an immigrant immigration agent and uh, I'm not doing immigration, but I can support you with as much information that will help you. Well, number two is no need for job offer or even a basic qualification. I know many people want this because people want the easy way out. Come on. It's going to be difficult for me to apply for a job. I may not be the lucky guy. Whatever that runs in your mind, this is the second option. Now, you need an expression, you know, to express, to do an expression of entry. For this, you need an experience in your vocation. So this experience in your vocation allows you to find a job when you arrive Portugal. So all you need to do is to drop an expression of entry to the Portuguese Ministry of Labor. And I will drop the link also below in this video. And you drop an expression of entry and say, come on, I'm a welder, I'm well experienced, I've done this job for 10 years. I, I could prove myself with examples of your wants. Blah, blah, blah. You have to make constructive first payment also can support you. So you do this, or when you've done this expression of entry very constructive, you submit it to the Portuguese Ministry of Labor and they will assess this and they will come back to you if they would allow you into Portugal to find a job or not. Once you get into Portugal, if you find any job, you may not get a visa or a work permit. But once you find a job in your, in your field where you express your capacity, then you will be able to convert it to a work permit according to the contract. And for this application, it is way too cheap at 95 euros for this application. But you will need to find a job in your area of specialization for you to apply for a work permit. Number three and um, option is Portugal Normal Visa. Well, this allows you to move into Portugal to work if you are someone who does your job online. Let's say you're an engineer or you're an IT specialist, you're a whatever you are, 
finance expert and your job is being done online, then you will be able to apply for the Portugal Nomad Visa. And the good news about it is, if you are able to live in Portugal for five years, Portugal is going to grant you the opportunity to apply for a permanent residency. Portugal is one of the few countries that allows people with normal visa to convert their normal visa to a, a, a permanent residency and subsequently a citizenship. So, if you are someone that works online, you could easily do this and apply for Portugal Normal Visa and off you go. And you will enjoy supreme life which you are going to gain in Portugal. Guys, if you've listened to this video from beginning to the end, I want to say congratulations to you because you have done the first part of the job. The first part of the job is listening to this video from beginning to the end. And I will tell you that certainly, if you put into practice what I have said, what you've just listened, what you've just watched, chances are that you're going to get a job within a very short limit of time. I therefore say congratulations to you once again and I wish you the best of luck and I pray that God will make your plans to my great successful. May the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to share across your social media channels. Do not forget to comment. Do not forget to like. And if you've not subscribed, please do so. I would like you to drop in the comment section. Here we go. Cheers.